I'm married. We also have three children. Lori's a nurse. She's been a nurse for, gosh, 30-something years. We have three boys. They're all in college. One of them study in marketing. The other one is a uh, finance accounting major, and the other one is going to be a police officer. He's doing criminal justice. I'm an 80s rock guy. I mean, I grew up in the 80s. I mean, that was when I was in high school and all that. So yeah, 80s rock. ACDC, Def Leppard, all of those. Yes, I had long hair. Yeah, not only did I have long hair, um, it was all the way down to my belt buckle, and then I permed it. I think what makes a good leader is when they fail at something they want to do. So I wanted to be a pilot um, and an astronaut, actually. So, and in the 80s, uh, you had to have 20-20 vision, and I had the pilot slot, and I remember going to the doctor, the medical doctors on the military base, and they dilated my eyes, and guess what? Not 20-20. So, all the things I'd been thinking and dreaming of doing since fourth grade, listening to the jets fly over the bases that my dad was stationed at, yeah, that went out the window. I enlisted in the Marines and served in the infantry. My dad said to me, he was a master sergeant in the Air Force, he said, didn't I raise you better than that? But it was a challenge and that's why I did it. And that actually straightened me out even more and uh, let me have time to figure out what I want to do with my life. Always wanted to be an educator at some point, wanted to serve my country, and then kind of morphed into, you know what, I'm going to serve my community as an educator. When I say thank you for your service, it means so much more than I think a lot of people think of. It's my highest praise when I can give someone that. I do that to military men and women, police officers, firefighters that I meet, but I also do that to teachers and educators because I would just say to them is that they are serving, and they're serving a greater good.